Okay, hey, yeah, welcome back to Field Ops with Friends. Uh, so, guess what? Uh, we made a little fuck up. And by we, I mean Nacho. So, Nacho fucked up just a hair. Uh, we were right. We did need to, um, kill the Hydra and then reload the area because then that NPC that Nacho was after, uh, will spawn. What are you doing? Reloading the area. <laughs> that works? Yeah. Wow. Okay, anyway, so we're reloading the area to get the NPC to spawn because you have to talk to the NPC before you can get the pendant that we're after that we're going to go get, uh, which we'll cut that out because, you know, we've been there, so whatever, it's boring, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, oh, that's no. a golden variant of the things we fought? Yeah. We've oh. actually seen golden golems back in, um, um, back in the Crystal Caves. It's walking toward you. Yep. Um... Whee! Okay. This is different. Very different. Oh, I thought I got hit there. Oh. I was wondering why you were just like, haha, you didn't hit me. Now I'm going to stare at you. Yeah. It's a little whack, a little crazy, a little wacky, a little, a little wacky. And then <laughs> Lady falls out. What the fuck? Hey! Yo, that outfit it's the, though? It's the woman. So, it is thou who rescueth me. Most gracious, I am deeply obliged. I am Dusk of Ulysseo. I cometh from an age long before thine. I cannot stay here for long. So, before I disappear, allow me to ask one thing. My home, Ulysseo, is the home of ancient sorceries. My hope is to pass this profound knowledge to thee with thine approval. Would this be of assistance to thee? Yes. My heartfelt thanks. I am pleased beyond words. Then I shout, engrave my signature. If thou art in need, pray summon me from my signature. It seems that my time is done. May the great flames guide thee. I. Yeah, so uh, what she said towards the end there with the signature, we can summon her for a boss. I just can't remember what boss. Like Unless a regular the... boss? Yeah. Okay. Uh, none in the DLC. I just can't remember what boss. Mm -hmm. So, uh, hey, molasses pup, what a boss. Do like a jump scare of it. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> no jump scares. Okay, so now we have to go get this pendant, right? Yep. All right, so uh, we'll see you guys back here, right here at this bonfire in particular. And... <clears throat> Welcome back to Field Ops with Friends. That was very extra, and I'm glad you did that. I'm, I'm here for you, buddy. It's been a while since we've done this, and I'm, I'm ready for some fun stuff. Uh, yeah. Not only is it going to be fun stuff, right? Like, we get to do something that I have not done before. We get to do the DLC for Dark Souls. Now, I'm sure some of you are like, Jacob, but you like Dark Souls so much. It's your favorite Dark Souls, right? It is. So why haven't you done the DLC? Well, let me tell you. When I played Dark Souls for the first time, it was back in... 1997. 1997. Wait. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was. How did you know? Uh, I definitely didn't sneak into uh, your parents' room whenever you played Dark Souls <gasps> and were born. Yeah, you were born on the controller, bro. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'd believe that. Just because there was a stick up my butt. But. Hey, yo. <laughs> you can't say that <laughs> within the voice. Like, we have only been talking for 10 <laughs> seconds, Jacob, and you're only cussing. Yeah, it's fine. What the frick? Molasses bleeped that out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so anyway, um, I, I played it for... For the first time, it, I didn't play this game at launch, but I did play it before Dark Souls 2 came out. So, and I don't remember when Dark Souls 2 came out, so sometime between oh, those. God, like 2012? Wait, no, this came out in like 20... This was 2011. This was 2011. So, yeah. Dark Souls... Two probably came out like 2013, 14. So somewhere between there is when I played Dark Souls for the first time. And as it was that time period for me, I was big into achievement hunting. And 
I got every achievement in Dark Souls. But there were no achievements for the DLC, so I just didn't care. Hmm. So I just didn't do it. So this is going to be a new experience for me. Yeah, it's going to be great. So uh, last episode, I don't... Did, oh my god, it's been so long. Did did we record getting the doll, or did we just get it and was like, fuck it? Uh, we we I think we recorded us getting the pen. The, the doll is... Oh, uh, yeah, I'm stupid. It's fine. Yeah. Go in the hole before I say something dumb. Well, I'm not going in the hole. The hole is going in me. Hey, yo! Oh. Or, well, rather, I'm going in the hole against my will. Oh, that's hot. Oh, my God. Is that Bayonetta? <laughs> Calm down, Molasses. Like. <laughs> Molasses. Put, put, in, put in the line. If you don't, if you like to learn how to talk to a lady. If you need to learn how to talk to a lady, ask your mum. Oh my god. I can feel Lake vibrating a thousand yeah. miles away. Oh my god, Put already in... a fog wall? What the fuck? Yeah, so the very first thing that happens in this DLC is uh, you fight a boss. Good luck, my friend. Yep. You like a... Uh... Ooh! Biblically accurate pupper! That, that's a cat. Kitty! Uh, man, That's a scorpion. Cover. That is a man for That is a scorpion butt. It's also very upset with you. Ooh, that's some damage. Yep. Is this supposed to be a pushover? Because you look like you're kicking its ass. Well, I've only hit it once. Twice, and it's already almost halfway dead. Good dodges, uh, my dude. Yeah, so this thing was not a joke in my first time playing, because I, I fucked, very I fucked up a lot to this fight early on, so I had to learn its patterns, and I'm still traumatized, so that's why I haven't gotten hit yet. Oh. Kind of just enjoying the fight here, and you're doing really well. Well, I appreciate it. Oh, oh, is that a stagger? It was. Good. My dude. Flawless well, kill. Flawless kill. Perfection. Guardian soul? Yeah. Is that unique? Uh, yeah. Well, I, I think that one is. Okay. Because, well, I'll explain it later. Okay. Why, why I think that one's unique. So, as we do with the DLC, or as what's going to happen in the DLC, we're going to go through every boss this DLC has. Okay. Which uh, is four of them, which we just did one of them. Ayo. Also. Yeah. The time's come. What? As much as I hate to do it. <gasps> Are you... Okay. What the hell has changed your mind? So anyway. <laughs> I Whoa. Oh. Well, look at this mushroom one. lady. From what far I'm away age her. hast thou come? Thy scent is very human indeed, but not intolerable. Thanks. Ah, Princess Dusk Savior. Thine aura is precisely as she described. Then why didn't you realize I it sooner? I thank thee deeply for rescuing well. her highness. But Princess Dusk is here no longer. Snatched away by that horrifying primeval human. What? And so I must ask, <laughs> couldst thou once more play the savior? Sure. Thank you. I am Elizabeth, <clears throat> guardian of this sanctuary. Something of a godmother to Princess Dusk. You're a mushroom. I shall assist thee to my yeah. utmost, for I am one with the sorceries of Auraseal. She's oh, okay. a mushroom. Hey. <laughs> Whoa. I like the designs on those. Yeah. Uh, this one's by far the best one, especially if you're rocking um, Moonlight Greatsword. Mm. So you just get to constantly... Have the staff in one hand repaired your fucking moonlight with the other. 
and just keep swinging, bro. That's amazing. Yeah. I think you can only use it once per it's, life? It says use as one, so. Yeah. Our way, it's really good. Flames guide thee. Oh, they have already. She doesn't know we beat Gwen yet. <laughs> so. <laughs> she hasn't this is watched New the Game playthrough. Plus, bitch. Yeah. She hasn't watched the playthrough. She doesn't have to catch up. Man, um, that's so weird to me, right? Because, uh, hey, spoiler alert for when we're recording this. Um, the regular Dark Souls series isn't done yet. As far as, like, it being put out, I think... I think we're one or two episodes away from the end. Two episodes away, which actually one of them comes out today. Yeah, here in like uh, 15 hours, I believe. Yeah, so, so episode 19 in 15 hours. So yeah. So there's a there's something about this DLC. Mm -hmm. uh, tell me when stuff starts looking familiar to you. Uh oh, this is so where you just were is where we fight Sif. Oh shit! So you you were only displaced in time, not location. Perhaps. Interesting. Nice kills. Thanks, man. I try my best. This is actually a really smart way of reusing assets. Oh yeah. I I always love it. That's one of the things I love about Halo One, right? Because uh, I don't know if I've ever like talked with you about this, but if you think about the levels in Halo One. Um, the Pillar of Autumn and the Maw, the first and last level, they're the same location. Oh, right? I actually did not know that. Yeah, and then the third level, uh, the Truth and Reconciliation, where you board the Covenant. Oh. Holy shit. New Game Plus, baby. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my I God. I even upgraded my town. Oh, Come my on, God, man. dude. But uh, the third level, the Pillar of Autumn, right, where you board the Covenant Carrier. And the level keys, where you have to go and, like, rip the thing out of his brain, it's the same level. Mm. And Assault on the Control Room and Two Betrayals, they're the same level. Right. You're just going through them a different way. That's very neat. Yeah. And and I've always loved that about Halo, because, you know, it had limitations, because that game came out in, what, 2001? Yeah. Which is wild to think about. So I've always really respected Halo 1 for being able to do that really, really well. But... Oh, yeah. Like... I think Halo 1's the one I've played the least, which I know Homer's watching this and he'll be like, Oh my god, <laughs> you <laughs> bastard. <laughs> I thought we were friends. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, like, I I've definitely watched a lot of Halo 1. I, I tried to pick it up like it was an Elden Ring. Oopsie, <laughs> well, those, those souls are gone now. Um, I've definitely watched Halo 1 a lot, but mm -hmm. I've never, like, Speed in it. Um, I played two and three, and he, he's gonna really kill me now when I say the only one I actually remember the most is four. Wow, that's surprising, but it's not that bad. Yeah, because that's the only one I beat on legendary difficulty. Oh, uh, uh, see, I remember. I remember. This is gonna be hard. Damn it! I didn't want to die there because he looks towards you. He's like, I'm a fucking dragon. <laughs> I mean, he still did. You just couldn't see it because you were dead. I want to play. Okay, go play. Um, but yeah, no, so it's interesting because uh, with Halo, right? Uh, Halo 1 is my favorite. Uh, there's this degree of nostalgia with it that I'll go over at some point, but not right now because uh, yeah. it it's a very long story. But uh, I love Halo 1. And I don't really care for Halo 2 that much. Mm. Um, there's just something about it. Like, it's got some amazing set pieces and some, like, really fun levels. And, I mean, permission to leave the station, sir. Like, I mean, come on, dude. Like, so fucking good. What reason? <laughs> to give I'm the Covenant their... back their bomb. It's, like, it's so I'm giving their bomb good. back. Permission, permission granted. <laughs> it's so good, dude. I love it. Plus fucking keith david oh my god right yeah the arbiter is both the best and worst thing they added to halo 2 the best thing from a character standpoint because the arbiter is amazing however the arbiter levels are one of the reasons i don't care for that game that much mm. makes more sense oh that felt good dude clean thanks babe also i like how we just went into Halo whenever we're playing Dark Souls. It's fun! Yeah, it's fine. 
Uh-oh. He will eat you alive, bro. Aware, he also has a lot of health. He do be a golem. Beautiful. Actually, really, is that the stone warrior armor? Kind of looks um, like it. I might yeah, be thinking of a different game, though. Well, I believe if you go check that item over there, I believe that might have part of your answer. Ah, yeah. okay. But I actually think I'm thinking of the wrong game. Probably, but... Okay. Beautiful. Um, Yeah, so... Halo 3, right? I really liked Halo 3. Uh, and Halo 4 was... Eh. I... Even though Halo 4 is the one I remember the most, it's the one I... I don't care for it. I think some of the weapons are badass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I love the fact that they added the Mantis. It's probably one of my favorite um, vehicles that you get in the game. But, uh... Halo 4 is not great. I will say, my favorite Halo game is going to be Reach. That's a good answer. Reach is really good. And yeah. Reach is one of those games where, in my personal opinion, it's better if you... Okay. Uh, if you... All right, <laughs> sir. <laughs> <laughs> you... Uh, I think Reach is better if you've played the other games. That's fair. Because, um, like, some of the stuff that happens, you're just like, <gasps> but if it's your first oh, Halo shit. game, it doesn't make sense. Yeah. And that's fine. Um, yeah. It's just, it's it's a factor. I suppose. Oh, that fucking Coliseum shit going on over there? All right. Hello. Come on. <laughs> Oops! He kicked the friend towards him. I feel bad. They look like they were farmers that just got turned into trees. I actually don't know their lore, but that could be well, it. Look at them. They're just just doing their shit. I mean, I'm about to wreck their shit, but yeah. I didn't think you'd go down that easy. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> hey, buddy. Yeah, this is going well so far. I mean, obviously, I don't know where I'm going because I'm not done this, but... Oh, shh. Yeah, just go towards that, uh, store, uh, that stone building to your right. The Colosseum or that? That. Also, uh, you, you probably see a lot of the shit on the ground. Uh, grass? Yeah. No. Oh, the, 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 the goopy shit? The goopy shit. Yeah. Just, just keep that in mind. Yeah, great. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is some fucking brawl shit. It's so good. Uh, what do they call that in, in Smash? It was really dumb and everybody hated it. Tripping. Yeah, but it didn't it have was... a term like. Maybe... No, it was literally tripping. Oh. Everyone hated it. Because uh, anytime you did a dash back in brawl, uh, there was a chance for you to trip. Yeah, I remember hearing people just hating that. <gasps> is this where the kitty is in the regular? Uh, it's close. Whee! So. That's a cool ass elevator. Yeah, what I'm gonna have you do is uh -huh. to your right, go across that bridge. Okay. You'll see a man. You can talk to him if you want. Yeah, hell yeah. I love this dude's armor so much. Yo! I'd wear that. Hmm. Mm. Ah, let me guess. Snatched by a shadowy limb and dragged off to the past. <sighs> yep. Yes, of course. Exactly what happened to me. We are both strangers in this strange land. But at least now there are two of us. Ba -ba -ba -da -da. Oh. So, shit? yeah, this man is Chester, I believe is his Did name. Did you happen across Knight Artorias, the legendary abyss walker from the old tales? Well, if you haven't, it's just as well. He's a colorless sort, if you ask me. 
<laughs> okay. So long. So, this dude is very out of place. Yeah. In this game. Yeah. There are so many theories behind him. Like, oh, um, one of the ones I've heard, which I don't really know about that, uh, about this one, mm -hmm. is uh, some people like say that's patches in the past. Uh... Which I, I think that's a bit of a stretch, but it's just like him being a cackling salesman. Yeah, yeah. Which... Was, was this a shortcut? Yes. Okay, cool. That's what Which you want me to do? Yeah. Okay. So there's, there was a theory about that. I don't know how many other people have said that theory, but that's one I've heard. The main theory behind him is people think that he's uh, a very, very far allusion to Bloodborne. Uh, that's just nice. because of his... Just because of his outfit and him also being dragged to the past. And I can't take this. Well, uh, I'll come back to Chester in a minute. This is a cutscene. Oh. Hey, speaking of Bloodborne. Oh, fucking hell! Yeah. Hey, buddy. Okay. I think you got him. Hey. So you could probably take a guess on who this is. It's probably Artorius, isn't it? Probably Artorius. He's probably gonna fuck my shit up, isn't he? Probably. Oh no. So this is a lot of people's favorite fight in the entire game. Okay. Just not because of uh <laughs> Oh wait. I'm still on the sword! Wait for oh, it. Oh shit! And now if you look down your feet, there's the guy oh hey, throwing God. you. Whoa! Yeah. So, people love this fight. Dude, I love his movement! Yeah. So, as you can see, he's all goofy. Yeah. Uh, known Ow. as Artorius the Abyss, the abyss Walker. That you are. Yeah. Uh, so... Holy the whole thing, shit! Yeah. The whole thing Ow. with this dude is uh, he tried to defeat the uh, primeval human that we heard about. Right, right. From Elizabeth. Okay. And uh, essentially failed. Which is why he is all goopy as he is essentially been taken by the abyss. Interesting. And... Uh, Artorius is canonically left-handed, but as you saw, he was one-handing his two-handed greatsword in his right hand because his left hand is broken all the shit. Damn. Yeah. So, even whenever he's this corrupted, fucking broken figure, he still has enough power to whoop your ass. So, it, like, imagine a fight with him at his full power. Yeah. You don't stand a chance. Yeah. Also, he's supposed to have a shield. Oh. But, uh, as you saw, he did not there. What was that red thing over there? I think that was just a sign. Mm, okay. Too scared to go back out there. I mean, that's to, fair. To be honest. So, Chester. Yeah. Okay, so, there are illusions of him being in Bloodborne, like, just because of, I mean, look at his outfit. Yeah, yeah. It's very Bloodborne-esque. It was like, oh, maybe they planned on doing Bloodborne a long time ago. And this was like, hey, this is the guy we're planning from it. But since he's like, oh, I got brought here from the past. People think that he, the worlds could be connected. And Bloodborne confirmed that the worlds are connected in Bloodborne's DLC. The with old a hunters. certain weapon. Yeah. Hmm. And the old hunters, the Moonlight Graysword exists. Spoilers! Huh. So, right, so the, you... the worlds are kind of connected. Okay. I love how I you can you. see that through there. Yeah, you can see his goop. So you're going to get this first try, right? I don't know. He's tough. That was delayed. It worked for you. Yeah. 
I need to dodge a lot when that happens. <laughs> oh, that was cool. Yeah. He also dodge rolls. He's great. Ooh, good dodge. Oh. Oh. Shit. That was yeah. a good try, though. Good, good like, warm-up. Yeah, so... <laughs> Despite me fucking up, I don't even mind dying to Artorius, because... By golly, he's just a fucking badass. Yeah. Ima and... Go ahead. Imagine a prequel to Dark Souls where you play as him. That... Oh my god, dude. Don't... Don't... Don't give me the... Don't give me hope. <laughs> That'd be so awesome, wouldn't it? Dude. And like yeah. the final boss is the primeval human. Yeah, and like, even though you fail, like ah, that ah, now I want it, bro. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. Um, but yeah, there's there's even more to Artorius that goes on, which uh, you have to thank uh. I can't even think of the fucking FromSoft guy's name. Miyazaki? Yeah. So, that's the one. Miyazaki is a huge fan of Berserk. Oh. Yeah. And Artorius is heavily based off of uh, Guts is his name, right? Yeah, Guts. The main character? Yeah. 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 So, Artorius is heavily based off of that. Which is also why he's left-handed, because Guts is left-handed. Uh, yeah. And which is why his arm's also broken, because Guts also doesn't have an arm, if I am correct. I believe that's correct. Yeah, Homic oh, will... Oh, uh, shit! That's a new attack. Yeah. Don't worry, Homic will correct us in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Uh... So, Artorius is heavily uh -oh. based off of Guts. He doing All something. Alright, so... Ah! He is now buffed. Yeah. Yeah! Heavily you think? buffed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll tell you what to do uh, next time that happens. Oh, look at him. Gotta run! Can you get out of... Like between the first and second, because that happened to me on my first try, where he'll hit you with that, um, and then you just kind of can't move, and he hits you again. I, I don't know actually, because mm. I feel like you can, but it's been a bit. I wouldn't expect him to buff like that. I should have went in yeah. for some damage. Yeah. So that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah. I didn't say anything because that was your first time experiencing yeah. it. That would have been my uh, like the second time. That's what I would have done. I would have rushed him to see if I could either get in some damage or to. Um, knock him out of it before he finished. Yeah, so um, I believe it's two hits with this halberd was the last time I had it. Uh, you just have to get a certain damage threshold so he'll stop the process to buff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Almost like an RP spell. Yeah, and he won't do that explosion because if you're close to that explosion, you will get hurt. Yay. Oh, boy. I love taking damage. It's my favorite. I love pain. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah. Oh. Also, go ahead. No. I went ahead last time. You go first this time. Okay. Do you want this guy's armor? Are we ever going to wear it? I mean, we can. Is it better than what we have? Probably. All right. Take it. All right. From his corpse, I'm guessing? Yeah. If you had died, <laughs> I would have lost that was, my shit. That was fucked, Dark Souls. Uh, we're probably going to die to this guy. Okay. So you know what? It's probably best that I missed. So we'll come back when we have a closer bonfire. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I made a peanut butter and jelly sandwich before we started, and I haven't had a chance to eat it yet. Okay. And I, and I got to tell you, I, I got this jar of peanut butter, and I'll tell you about that here in a moment. Okay. I want to give you focus. Ow! I'm never going to recreate that sound again. Okay, so... Because you're dead, about, yeah. that, about that sandwich, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I got this peanut butter because I was like, I want to try something a little different. And I saw this... Uh, 
quote, coconut almond butter. Yeah. And when I opened it up and I smelled it, it just smelled like slightly sweeter peanut butter. Mm. And then I like licked the spoon when I was putting it in the sink because, you know, if you don't, what are you doing with your life? And it was so coconutty that I was surprised I couldn't smell it. So I have coconut-based almond butter. Ow. Uh, and strawberry jelly on this sandwich. And I don't know if it's going to be any good. But when I get to it, I'll let you know. Uh, based yeah. based on, like, uh, the, the clock that I'm looking at, I'm probably not going to get to that sandwich this episode. But, hey, on the next episode, you guys are going <laughs> to find episode. out. Next episode, you'll, you'll get an earful of this peanut butter. <laughs> or coconut butter. <laughs> that Bring that elevator gonna... back up, bitch. <laughs> Uh, oh, fine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna win though. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You will. Yeah. You can. You can win after you bring up the elevator. Yeah. I'm gonna win this time. It's gonna happen. I'm gonna start the next episode by going. That sandwich was ass. Well. Spoiler alert for a sandwich I haven't even tried yet. Yeah. I'm prophetic. What can I say? Be sure to dislike the video if Jacob oh. doesn't do that next episode. No, please don't do that. <laughs> but my, my metrics. My metric. My dude! He is powerful. My dude! He is very powerful. My dude! Molasses, edit that out. That was oh, my turn. I'm going to try the sandwich now. Okay. So how is it? It's different. This is different. As I figured it would be. Um. Hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you what it tastes like. Yeah. And it's gonna sound really strange. Yeah. But I kinda dig it. It tastes like an almond joy, but the chocolate's been replaced with strawberry. Oh. Which I mean, yeah, coconut peanut butter, well, almond butter. So it's like That's pretty good actually. I dig that. Nope. Now, do I try and parry this <laughs> asshole with delay? I mean, I'm, you can try. I'm I'm thinking no, because I'm I'm hardly capable of parrying in the first place. And I used two to be shots good at parrying, us. But... Yeah, it's been a bit for me as well. Good opening hit. Ha! Excellent. Ooh, good uh, dodge. Ooh. My butt. Got away for him to. I love that, like how the arm, realistically, like dangles, flops like, around. Like flops yeah. around, yeah, yeah. To be broken, all this shit. Come on. Ooh, oh, nice. Just, just. Uh. Ooh, good dodge on his part. Oh. Not to make you nervous, ah! but this is the best you've done. I know. I'm awesome, bro. I'm killing it. Okay. What? Okay. Okay. I got away from the attack again. And again. Come on. Oh! I dodged forward instead of to the side. That's what fucked me. Yeah, that attack is especially brutal. Yeah. That's gotten me more times than not, that's for sure. So, uh, I do love Artorius's sword, especially. Because mm -hmm. uh, you can get it in this game, and they bring it back in Dark Souls 3. And since Dark Souls 3 has weapon arts, oh. you can do all the flips and shit. That's fantastic. What's the weapon called? Uh, I believe it's just called the Wolf Wolf's Greatsword. Oh, or okay. Wolf Knight Greatsword or something like that. That felt good. 
But yeah, this I... is an interesting boss. Like, it's one of those bosses where I don't feel bad dying to it. Because mm. it's just like, I want to learn it. Because it seems well designed. Not like it's a rare thing for a Souls boss to be poorly or well designed, but you know what I mean. Like, it's, I don't know. There's something about it. It's real good. Yeah. I can see why people like it. All right, so this is the one. I'm not distracted by the sandwich anymore. So this is the one. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna walk in there like badass, and I'm gonna parry the fuck out of him. The lie, I'm not gonna parry him at all, dude. Yeah. <laughs> can he even be parried? That's a good question. No, you can't. Are you sure? Yep. Man, he hits me every time. He he did it again. I'm dead and he's fucking doing it again. Why does he always use that attack on me, but like not as much with you? He knows, dude. I'm telling you. He wants to be flashy for the content creators. I guess. Speaking Ugh. of content. Content. Uh, do, we, do we want to end it here? Fuck no. Go kick okay. his sorry ass. Okay. Okay, jeez. Don't deal with me, dad. I'm so scared. <laughs> I'm going to eat more of my family. Fuck you. Okay. So, new strat. Oh, no. Are you sure you can't parry him? From what the internet said, I can't. Hmm. Which honestly kind of makes sense with. We mid rolling this? We mid rolling this? That's exciting. Very exciting. Oh, we still take a shit ton of damage. Never mind. Not worth it. Yeah. I'll change it back once we get to the boss door. That's wild that it didn't really help that much. Yeah. I, I mean, like, I am and am not surprised. Because mm. it's passion souls. That's fair. There is no true armor. Update on the sandwich. Yeah. The coconut's a little overwhelming. Yeah. I, I bet. Further update on the sandwich. I don't think I want to eat any more of it. Fair enough. What do you plan on doing with the rest of that coconut butter? If anything. I'll find a use for it. Maybe I can make cookies with it. That might be dope. I, I did it again. He loves that attack, dude. Yeah. I keep dodging forward instead of dodging to the side. It keeps fucking me over there. It's, it's gonna get ingrained in my brain. I'm glad I flawlessed a pause right before this. So, we know that I'm not shit. <laughs> oh, oh. I'm sorry. What? What the fuck? I'm sorry, Nacho! Well, we have recorded evidence that I'm not shit. Molasses, delete the entire series. Okay, yeah. It's fine, yeah. see? Everything's fine. Molasses, be sure that you double delete uh, Jacob's victory against Gwen. That didn't happen. Hey! Yeah? I don't know. I was just saying, hey, how you doing, buddy? I'm doing all right. That's cool. You know what I think? What? I think that uh, we're going to end the episode here, and then when we start the next episode, we're going to be at the boss door, okay? Okay. 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 Um, next time on Fail Up to Friends, uh, we're going to win. Okay, bye!